gamers. Let's see, I'll turn this down a bit. How does that look on this audio? Still a bit louder on your end. Let's see, I'll fiddle with these. But welcome back to another exciting episode of, of uh, Jack 4. Uh, fiddling with the audio edition. All right. That's good enough for that. So as always, this is my hit video game, Jack 4. This is Naughty Dog endorsed, and if that's not true, they can sue me for libel. Actually, I don't know the difference. I forget, I forget which one is, uh, I guess slander is, I guess slander is the one that's in print. Wasn't that the, wasn't that a joke from the Spider-Man movie? The one with Tobey Maguire? Anyway, let's see. Some things that I've done since, um... Streaming, I added just a little bit of screen shake. I'll hide the, uh, let's hide my funny starting soon label. I just need to, you know what? I'm gonna do something. If. Check this out. It didn't work. Check this out. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Now I can just press a button and turn it off. Alright, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was watching... Um a video about the Gears of War series by Noah Gervais. I mean, he, he made the videos, not the games. But it inspired me to add just a little bit of screen shake, just a little bit of screen shake when you're aimed in and you're shooting the gun. Because, you know, it is, you know, because he does, he does make a pretty, a pretty convincing thesis that Gears of War is actually um, basically perfect, basically perfect video games, unassailable, indomitable a whole cloth if you will so yeah i'm gonna add some so yeah next i should add some uh, some ch a gun with a chainsaw on it and i think some cover base shooting that'd be pretty good no what i'm actually gonna do let's see before we get started on some actual work i'm going to show off a little concept art that i made so first i made just a little I started off with just a simple little sketch. I drew a skull and I was like, I want something different because I have three or I have two skull enemies now. So I made the skull his body and then he has this little like head on top. It's like a false set of, it's like a false face. And then he has a gun and he has springs. And then I drew this one and I was like, ooh, I like this like silhouette. I like smooth lines. It turns out that, that designers have been doing good work. So I, so I, punched up the design a little bit, so now it emphasizes more like smooth lines and things. And so, I'm pretty excited about adding this because I think it'll look pretty cool, but basically, uh, he's a little man, he jumps up and down, and he shoots you, and if you get close to him, he tries to jump away so that way he can't shoot at the same time. Basically, I wanted an enemy that did a few things. One was I wanted it to bounce up and down because I think that'd be interesting to try and hit them with melee. And also, I wanted an enemy that's more deadly far away than close. So I'm not going to add him right now. I, f I forget what I was going to actually do. Uh, I, d I have a schedule for exactly these reasons. Linearize upgrades. A mini game. Uh, the mini game and that's too much coding for today. I've been I'm I'm all I'm all coded out for today. Uh, you know what? No, I shouldn't do that. 
I'm gonna do let's do, let's try some little animations. And you know what? I'm gonna move this as well to there. Cause oh man, you ever you ever have one of those days where you press a button and the screen doesn't change? And then you just start slamming your hands on the keyboard to make something happen, and then like a thousand, a thousand letters come down. That was basically my entire afternoon. Oh man, I won't go into too much detail since, you know, I am, I am a high, I'm a, I am a, a an esteemed professional, after all. That's why I complain about my job on on Twitch, which is. Probably not the wisest decision, since I'm pretty sure it's trivial to, to correlate this account with my LinkedIn, but oh well. Add me on LinkedIn, by the way. I don't have any game development on there, because I don't get paid for this. Alright. Let's do some animations. Let's do some cute little fun little animations. That way, I don't have to deal with any any proprietary version control software. Oh my god. See, that's the... That's the secret. I... I tow the line of professionalism. And by that I mean I'm, I'm pushing dangerously close to the opposite side of it. Okay, uh, let's stash this. Did I make sure to not delete anything? Oh well. Let's just make it like... Let's just call it like item get. It'll be something special. And it'll be similar to the flag placing animation, where I want it to be a, a bunch, a, a bit more like a, a key pose focused. What's this mean? Your location? My location? Hang on, you can't just you can't just pop that up for a little fun little moment, Windows. You can't just you can't just say, oh yeah, by the way, we're tracking your location. Oh, never mind. Bye. My employer has discovered me badmouthing their proprietary version control software. They're after me. Oh well. I'm actually really alarmed by that. I'm gonna have to keep my eye out for. I mean, what could use it? Probably just one of the 10 trillion, like, secret little hidden services that's in Windows. One of these days, like, with everything else in my setup, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna get rid of it. I really wish I'd done, uh... Some, like, literally any capacity for, like, expressing facial expressions in the character rig. But that would have taken a while. Actually, before we do this, I'm gonna make the, uh, I'm gonna tweak that capacitor. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So let's open up our fun little friend, the capacitor. Look at that, doesn't that just look like a priceless esteemed create, or uh, like integral game item. Probably not. Let's just call this Matt One Two. And these are going to use the same. I'm going to uh, reconfigure these so that they're the same aesthetic style as the. There's the ancient architecture, which is white and red mostly, or like white and purple. It has a very particular way that it looks. So I'll just 
try and amp this up a little bit. Yeah, I'm regretting not doing more work uh, yesterday. I should, maybe I should, maybe a schedule isn't ideal for me. Because I am very uh, fickle in terms of mood. And I was much, I was in much more of a developer's mood a few days ago. Oh well. Uh, sign that. See, doesn't that look like a priceless artifact now? This has its export, right? Yeah, it does. Did it not? Export. Oh, I moved it. That explains that. So need the um, material ancient. So yeah, there's gonna be matching it with the other things that I have: white metal and gem. Yeah, see, that's gonna be pretty. Much more intriguing looking artifact, I think. I'm also going to uh, I'm gonna give the same treatment to one of the entities, the uh, power thing. It's gonna have the exact same uh, setup. I'm gonna have to figure out what I actually want with it. Because I don't want to just do the same thing again. Good enough approximation. Hmm. Maybe I should have thought of it a bit more before I just started going for it. Oh well.
Yeah, I just want it to be... Maybe not great looking, but at least, like, intriguing and matching the, the sort of style that I've developed for the, the guys. These funny little freaky guys, whoever built these awful machines. so far. Look at that. It looks like it looks like I just arbitrarily like grabbed a bunch of vertices and and beveled them. Perfect. So if I had the power thing set up properly. Eh. It's inherited though, so I can just add the the materials here. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, because basically Oh, I have to go all the way back. Um, you know what? It's about time to delete the save again. faintest idea where the uh, Godot stuff is stored. Yes, I do. I was lying. I guessed wrong briefly. I'm even going to delete my settings file. Devastating. Yeah, I'm creating things that I want to do faster than I can do them. Even, like, late at night, I'll, like, be on my phone typing out notes that I then don't look at. Okay, so we still come up here, and then... Yeah. And this is a nice coat. Yeah, we got some good variety. These are actually pretty decent. I'm gonna go with this one for variety's sake. I always use the gradient ones. And then there's this guy. Yeah, and so this is eventually going to be the same style as all these other things, these pristine, like, white and purple things. Because, yeah, I've, I've firmly decided on, like, a... Well, I've decided that the, that the narrative is going to be deliberately contradictory in what the actual history of these places are, like the order, like the sequence of like who built these stone things, who built these uh, white things, who built these uh, copper things. The chronology is just going to be all messed up, like people are going to insist that either these are the oldest or maybe that they're after the copper. And yeah, it, it, it's theming. It's not that I don't care to make a consistent uh, narrative or chronology. It's that I'm a very smart writer. I'm very intelligent, CC. You, 
Yuck, why is the... Hmm... I think I have to change... So that's bug number one. I'm gonna fix... No, I don't want to fix bugs. I'll just add it to the list of things to do. Uh, schedule. I'll put that for tomorrow. Default font. <clears throat> Probably the exact same thing that I did with the options, though. Reading it rather than writing it. Actually, nah. Well, let's at least take a peek at it. I mean, it should be right. Maybe the theme doesn't have a font color until I set it? That wouldn't make sense. I mean, look, it it's clearly has a default font. Why is... oh, that's the... I thought the color of the font was decided by the uh, theme, like in the default font stuff. Okay. It returns that. Okay, okay. Uh... Text default to black should be read from default font. Uh, text reads non existent font color for specific uh, class. Is there a default font color configured elsewhere? Presumably, it's in the settings for the actual project itself. But yeah, I'm going to do that later. What else was I going to do? I'm going to actually do the things that are listed on the to-do list. It's okay. Let's say... For now, this will be good enough for that. But let's say that at pose, at frame 10, she snaps to, like... A really big like wow look at this thing I found I think either after this game I'm gonna I'm gonna do something that's programming light like maybe like redo the animations and models in this game but otherwise leave it untouched that could be fun that'd be an opportunity to uh, do a bit less programming this finger where do I want this how's the music on this end it's a bit loud on mine yeah, I'll drop it a little bit
And I want these poses to be a bit cheesy and obvious. Hmm. This a bit more like straight. Um, did I go a bit too goofy with this? I'm just going to have this already be at the center. bit of like, how should this overshoot? This looks bad. Oh well. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't the slightest clue what I'm going to be doing here. All right, if, it, if this is going to be an animation stream, I might as well do some good animation instead of bad. So what do I need? We need, like, I think I like, I like looking down animation. So she's, like, getting the thing. not too low because you know it'd be better if it was like behind her so like so she's like reaching behind this would be mirrored though
pulls it out and then the thing is up here and it's like all fancy and glowing I've completely changed my animation methodology from all this, like, I wasn't thinking at all about really, like, making good readable poses when I started. And I mean, this isn't exactly a great pose, but, okay, let's actually make it a great pose, though. So the thing is here, maybe she's like... So she has like a very like, I don't know, heroic posing. Wow, this is very, this is very comprehensible, actually. This is, uh, I, I can't, I can't even read what that means anymore. Oh, well. She does that. And then, how should she put it away? It should be pretty quick, because I don't want it to take forever to get things, because you're going to be getting shot at while you get these capacitors. Excuse me, Yoke. <clears throat> Maybe she just like, uh, puts it in like your pocket or something. I mean, it doesn't really make sense to put it in your pocket because it's a, it's a huge thing, but then again, she has literally no other place to put it. And her hand is still on her hip. Barely comprehensible. All right, let's try it. Also, now that I think about it, I really should have made her arms, like, more like this, rather than here. This is, I think, a bit too far of an A pose. I mean, it is, like, 45 degrees, almost. Yeah, maybe, like, a little bit more like that, so I could have actually more easily gotten under there. Oh, well. Live and learn. I'll make an HD remaster of this game, and then sell it for, like, two dollars. Hmm. She's a little bit... Should she actually... I guess that's decently readable.
This comes like down and down like this. Let's just have so she'll start like going like that and then at 30 she will be completely the opposite That's some good shoulder skinning right there. <clears throat> See, this is why people come to these streams for just a master at work. Just just a master of his craft. He's a candy maker. I mean, look at that. Just beautiful topology. This is this is how Jack and Daxter was meant to look. This is what it. This is how Jack and Daxter will look after twenty years of technological advancement. I think that'd look good if there's like way more like secondary motion and like overshoot and stuff. Because like. She needs to, I think her whole body needs to come a little bit more forward. That looks, you know, uh, you know what, let's just, let's just not even have that. Yeah, you know, that's, that's how human beings move and do things. I like the idea of more like hip sway. And then she settles back into a more normal pose. And then I guess... Let's like take a checkpoint there. <clears throat> and I... This shouldn't be more than 100 frames, because that's already a bit pushing it for, like, a, a get random item thing. Actually, that could be, like, 90, even.
I'm even gonna go, dare I say, 80 frames. Let's have this be a little bit more, just a very subtle, like, she's putting it in her pocket sort of thing. I think her foot needs to come up. At least the heel. And also, I think this can be even tightened up further. Yeah, because this is a long, like, it can be, like, <clears throat> and I'm going to have, this is the, uh, the whatever it is, the, the object reference. the same frame. I think actually I want this foot to come up a little bit so it's like it comes up and then like it goes down. these let's do like just a little bit of movement on that heel then her hips are going to sway a little bit backwards
I think it's a bit not quite what I want. I think that's better. Let's have her head come up a little bit more and then settle down. I don't even know if this, uh, eh, I don't think that's good with that, uh, that heel raise, I don't think. And I'm also gonna change it to more like, uh, this. Also, this part could be way faster as well. I don't even think there needs to be a lead into it. We can just immediately go into the movement. Say that her arm is down like this, and then it goes like that. Get that like 75. It's a bit too much. I think she also needs to go a bit down more. So like now I think it needs to be more like a reaction to like when she steps out her hips continue to go down.
Now there's even less motion, honestly. I know. She needs to go up and then down. Um, it does look like she's doing like a dance move. This should still be going up, so it should be like... This should be going up, like, as a... This should be going up way earlier than that. I think it's not even... I think it's... I actually have to stiffen it up a bit. Like, it's, it's a bit too, like non-committal to the poses. Okay, that little movement there, that should be a lot less. It should be like... It should be like very slight. I think I did a bit too much when I... I'll hold the key pose for just a little bit longer. Yeah, that's good enough. What is that, 71 frames? Yeah. Let's do, uh... Hmm. The problem is, I have a very awkward way of, uh, or a very clunky way of handling these animation states, which is I just have to add a new state to the state machine. Like, a much better way would be to have, like, I think, like, categories of states, like, like custom animation or attack or, or uh, jump, and then have variations of them. Ah, well, I already did it this way, so it'll be like, oh wait, I already have it. Um, I'll just do like, uh, uh, time, get, get item. Yeah, it'll be 0 0.9. Wow, it's already 7. I'm only going until 7.30. I might go a little bit lo Yeah, I might go a little longer. Maybe not.
get item. Get item. And yeah, this could be set to like if ID in special items or something. Get item. I'm uh, sort of not doing so hot with it, but I will. Because what I really need to do is I need to get a node, or I need to change get item from a string to a node, and then th I can uh, just copy that node as a child of the thing, but... I should change... let's see... this flag... state.getItem and I'm going to change this to like animation... so time animation... and I'll have it so that they can so that these are both... oh wait, no I can't do that, dang it. Because I decided on my brilliant... actually... What I'll do is I'll just set that to the transition state. Like a lot of things, kind of clunky. Let's see if I have any... Let's see how many bugs I can create with that little... Place flag. Oh, wait. What did I do? I already forgot what I was... Okay, state dot get item. What I need for this is to... Um... Huh? That's not good. Oh. It's because... Um, if there's no valid game state... Let's uh, global dot game state dot checkpoint position equals because I changed the logic for how the the checkpoints work. So that way, when you save the game, it saves your items, but it doesn't. Or when you save and quit, it does something different than saving your checkpoint. So that way, if you just press save and quit, you'll respawn at the nearest checkpoint with all of the items in game state, like, right up to the last second of play. But that way you can't cheese it as easily, and you have to actually buy the flags. So I'm going to delete my wonderful autosave again. All those beautiful, beautiful coats. Gone like the wind. I should have said gone with the wind. That'd be way more clever. Okay, let's tr let's see if that works. So if it works, I should go back to where I was. Yeah. 
Though it does seem like I uh, changed coats, maybe? Hang on. Let's see. Wait, why do I have a sublime... I shouldn't have a sublime coat when I start. Huh. Oh. Weird. Okay, that actually works out. That is unintentional, because I was expecting to be in there, but basically what happens is you start here, and then it loads the actual, like, player spawn point. And then, you're, and then your position is changed to the spawn point. And that happens, like, within one frame. What else was I testing? Right, getting capacitors. Um, whatever, I'll play it legit. Uh, I'll skip the tutorial for now, though. This is, like, too good of a coat. This is, like, the best coat in the game. Like, if I give the player all the good coats at the start, they're not going to be incentivized to, be, to, to get a cool coat. Also, I've decided that you do just start with this pistol, like there's no tutorial. Well, maybe there's a tutorial. But yeah, you're just going to have this from the get-go. Because it's not really useful, or it's not that... Oh, you... Ugh. Uh, okay, so my triplaner is still not working right. Is, is it the tri... It feels... That just, that just feels like a bug in something else. Like, that, I don't feel like my shader could possibly do that. It, feel, it seriously feels like my GPU might be dying, because it is like a five-year-old laptop. Because this seems very reminiscent of other issues that I'm having with like browsers and videos where it's like it occasionally just pulls up the wrong thing, like something from another window will pop up in the video. Very weird bug, and that could be an equivalent of it where it's like corrupting the VRAM or something. I want my I want my funny I want my funny music, not this, not the... The problem is I've gotten sick of that song, so I'm worried that... I should make it significantly longer, probably, so it doesn't loop so much. And less repetitive, because... Even with, like, the two minutes of content that's in there, I was sort of running out of ideas. There's only so many times you can go da 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 before it gets really old. What was I doing? Getting a capacitor right. Now I feel so powerless without a gun. Like without like without 200 rounds of ammo. Oh, right. Uh, did I save? I didn't save. Okay. Let's go back to... Oh wait, first, yeah, I didn't even integrate the animation at all or anything. So I need to go back to our player and Jackie. Just an absolute mess. Uh... Oh wait, I haven't even saved or exported or, or even uh, or even stashed it. What's gonna happen when Blender helpfully deletes it for me? I'll be angry about how Blender handles deleting resources until the day I die. I think actually redoing the animation 
and animation like logic. That'd be really fun. And that'd be, I think, pretty good way of showing like, or like developing that skill. But okay, I need get item. Item get? Why did I call it item get? How is it that like I'm already baffled by my own decisions like 10 seconds after I made them? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, all right, it doesn't automatically transition back. Need to time this right. Um, that ends? No. Yeah, that'll probably be good. Well, I've learned my mistake. Ooh, I wonder, I should buy it. To test it, I should buy a flag and then uh, place it right in front of the thing, even though there's also a, a, a checkpoint, whatever. Wait, no, there are 125 gems. I'm an absolute shyster. Did I make them 125 gems? Uh, yeah, let's dodge that question for now. Yeah, 125 moonstones. What are you running here? A business or a freaking hospital? That was a that was a very clever and easy to follow joke. It was about it was about uh healthcare costs. Uh the game just froze. Uh oh. Um That's not encouraging. What does Godot have to say about that? Nothing at all. Hmm. That is, uh, that is comforting. So let's pretend that it didn't happen. If there's no error, or if it, if it didn't log an error, then it didn't happen. Alright, you can just climb up this now. It's actually wait because of the the changes to stamina consumption that I made. Now, like it used to be balanced so that you could just barely get up here by cheesing it. Ah well, it is part of the tutorial after all. Hmm, that is alarming. Because it's also like Nan, because you can see that it's black, but it also has the glow. And I don't know... Well, I mean, I guess that's the complete thought. I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. I'll just have to hope that it that it looks cool. When people get it in their in their in their funny little uh, streams. Oh, 
I'll just save it this one. Just in case the game crashes or I die or, or, I, or I encounter another bug. And I've been contemplating changing how the story works so that you... That the three capacitors are like most of the game rather than just like a good third of it. Because I... I, I as it turns out, it's actually pretty hard to write um, very complex dialogue about like subjective human experiences and things. Yeah, go away. I need to test this. Hum, that uh, was that was a uh, not quite what I was hoping for. What have I done wrong? Let's, uh, I can't save and quit, because then I'd save. And then, no. okay, so I, th I know what it is. It's because this is place flag. I also need the state dot get item. needs to release the item and also hmm state so state greater than time animation so yeah, that's, that's correct. Let's cheat. I also need to test to make sure that I didn't break the flag if I'm, if I've broken that. So it'll be... That'll be convenient. Let's get this out of here. I should make my own playlist of music that I know is good, and I should prepare that before the stream. Oh well. My famous line. Speaking to the human condition, the... the, the Yeah, so that works properly. Does it? Yeah. Oh, and interesting. So, bec and because I made it so that the um, any transition places the flag, that means that actually when I got interrupted by getting damaged there, it actually places the flag earlier. I think that's okay. You know, because then getting damaged is, it's like a strat rather than like a thing that really is annoying and makes it so that you can't save. Let's see if, uh, oh, it's because I didn't have item get. You know what, as a matter of principle, That'll do that. And then, uh, okay, so those bugs are unrelated. I didn't save and quit, did I? Oh, well, I know how to unpick it if I did. Oh, convenient. Except for the fact that the flag wasn't saved, which is just tragic. I mean, how am I supposed to know that I respond from a flag if it wasn't placed there? Yeah, I claim this is mine. Uh, not in love with it, but that's okay. I think it's good enough. Well, no, let's try one more time. Uh, 
though. Nice. I actually think that's... I think the ability to just return to the checkpoint, even though I didn't... Like, even though it preserved the save state, that's actually, I think, pretty nice. Like, I like that. I think I need to remember to get, come back here with my wave jump. It's like my favorite video game, Metroid. Eh. Yeah, that animation is kind of lame. Especially since it's very obvious that it's just a parented thing attached to your hand, but... Um, I can fix it. Or at least improve it by just moving the capacitor down so that center of mass is more there. And then I can change the capacitor pickup. Now it's just consumed by your hand, but... Ah, well. It's okay. Now I need to do the damaged animation. Wait, why are the flags not here? This is terrible. The flags are supposed to be saved, because how else am I supposed to know to save to, to spend money at, the, at your local shopkeeper and get one of these wonderful flags? Why is that, actually? I mean, they're here. Let's see. Do I have to save and quit? Maybe it's because I'm not saving and quitting. Like half of them are here, what? No, hang on, I, d I don't actually know. Um, yeah, this one's here. Okay, let's do an experiment. One, two, three. Four, five, and I'm just gonna mash F8. I'm at the right position. Okay, the most recently placed flag is not being saved. That makes sense. I need to, um,. Yeah, obviously, because I'm not saving until after, I, or before, or I'm saving before I place the flag. What am I, stupid? Alright, one, two, three, four. Put it in the center, right? Yeah, look at that. I know what I'm doing. And I think the fact that the flags are frozen and they kind of blink in, eh, that's okay for me. I'd rather have that than the game like chugging to a stop because you have too many flags around. Hmm. Now we need the very important uh, damage animation.
the obvious way is to just, I don't know, be like a, maybe something like, Yeah, that's sort of the obvious one. And then, um, could also do like one of these where like she raises her shoulder up. And if I have her right hand be controlled by it. That way you can be damaged and still shoot at the same time without the animations like canceling each other out or having to cancel each other out. So yeah, this is like her hand. Hmm. That's okay. Why is there no... Did I remove my window? This is terrible. be like it'll also imply that she's knocked backwards so it'll be like um, seems a bit exaggerated Next time I'm just going to make the eyebrows attached to the head. These free-floating things are a bit too much work. up just a little bit because she can also do this while she's running so it'd be kind of awkward if it was too much in fact maybe maybe it's just a toe that comes up
Let's see, you gotta be way more punched than that. And way less recovery than that. Again, I need like better framing or better um, key posing. I'll have a little bit of like um, like a what is that? Ah, okay. Wait, no, this should be more in like that, because that's going to be, when you're holding the pistol, that's all that happens, so I want her to still lean forward even then.
And this needs to be a bit more committal. Yeah, that's okay. Wait. Most important thing, stash it. And now I figured out why the, uh, why it disappeared since I just clicked decks on it. Mystery solved. GLTF file path. I can't believe I I literally looked at it and did had zero comprehension of what I was looking at. Wait. So I need to have Jackie. I think. We need to be able to go to fall... Wait, do I have damaged here? I have bonk. No, bonk is literally fall. And that goes to everything, I think. Let's just close all these. So, step one. Add our damaged animation. And it can, I guess, from. from ground and fall to fall and ground. I'll hope that looks okay. And then it's like a 0.15 fade time, so that way it transitions smoothly. Just terrible news that I don't have any bullets. And I will eventually have to fix the climbing animation, how it's like not attached to the wall because it just looks really bad. I mean the animation itself is pretty bad already but like when you're climbing down a wall, yuck. Oh, wait, I can see what the damage looks like there. Here. See it hit me. What is that? Oh yeah, I was going to do something. I'll show you what I'm going to do. For the gun, the it sometimes flickers between not aiming at an enemy and aiming at them because like it, it depends on like whether you can actually see the center of them. So I'll just have a var target node. So then, best target will equal target, wherever my uh, find target is, or update laser or whatever. That was wrong. Um, yeah, so, target equals best target.
So yeah, for now it sh it'll be functionally identical, but... Then here... If... Best... If target... Equals... Um, G... Best... Target equals G. Else. So basically, if the currently aimed at target is still the best target, it'll ignore the un it'll ignore the casting, and it'll just keep aiming at them for some amount of time. I actually, I think that actually would be better to have it like so that maybe like if a tenth of a second goes by or a quarter of a second goes by, and you can't actually hit them from where you are. Yeah, because now you just aim at them forever. So I'm, I'm actually going to change that a little bit. It'll be... Just can't aim... Can't lock on. No. Timer can't lock on. On oh, time... Quit lock on. So yeah, so this way you won't like constantly flicker between them, but it will be like, there'll be a little bit of time where, like for a quarter of a second, if you're, st if, yeah, so that way you it doesn't seem like the player is failing to lock on or something. So. Elif target equals G. Timer can't lock on plus equals uh, delta. If timer. Greater than time, quit lock on. Um, actually, this has sort of reverse logic, so. Basically, until the timer can't lock onto it, the best target will be G, and the best score will be score. And I might, it might be best to have it be a bit sticky in general, like it prefers a specific target if it's still within range or still acceptable to hit. But that'd be a bit more complicated. So for now, yeah, I see. And then if I, yeah. So this way, uh, maybe. Oh, right, it's because I'm like aiming at a yeah so now when I cross this you're still aiming at the same target for a little bit until you for just a little bit and then if you're actually behind a wall still it gives up Okay. Hmm. Do I want to keep going? Nah, I might do some writing, but I'm in the mood to sort of relax. Ah, well. As always, thanks for watching. I should be back online 6 p.m. tomorrow. I think that's the schedule. See you then.